Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This shows Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. Hey, I want to get shot to the notification game, Key Talk Game, for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyway, so. Now, I told y'all the last video that we made that Sauce Walker pretty much came out, responded to Go Yayo, and then Go Yayo pretty much responded and spazzed that on Sauce Walker as well. And now this, of course, has initiated some of the other TSF members and some of the other Hood Fame members to go ahead and take up for their respective sides. You already know. Savage Slickster T Slick, of course, Hood Fame T Slick actually came out and he went and not only Sauce Gohan, who, if y'all may remember, Sauce Gohan is the TSF artist that actually got shot in the head. Uh, it was like inside of his car. I did a video on it. Like it was like a year, a couple years ago. Uh, we'll review that again. But also he got shot in his head and his eye like at the same time. And he actually did survive. He definitely did survive getting shot in the head. I'm going to show you all that. But then also he went at Rizzo Rizzo. And he said that he believed that Rizzo Rizzo is the weakest link inside of the entire TSF. Now, Rizzo Rizzo did uh, come back and actually respond. And if y'all don't know, Rizzo Rizzo got a song that's actually playing on the radio right now. I just got an edge up and I'm outside. I just got an edge up and I'm outside. Now, if you're inside of H-Town, Texas, you probably have heard that song anyway. So if I take us over to the screen uh, to pretty much where he said something about Rizzo Rizzo, he pretty much wanted to do a poll to see if people thought Rizzo Rizzo was the weakest link inside of TSF. Of course, Rizzo did respond. I'm going to play that as well. But anyway, so he came out and said, I'll be as a side. I want y'all to vote so I can prove I'm right. Uh, and pretty much what he was talking about us, he asked if Rizzo Rizzo was the weakest link inside of TSF. Now, that part of the image is actually cut off. Uh, I don't know when I screenshot it. I guess it cut that part off. Anyways, the first comment actually is Rizzo Rizzo, who actually came and responded to that and said, Stop giving these people names. Who is this? I don't know who bro is. He hold yeah, yo shirt or something. So he pretty much downplaying uh, T Slick, like as if T Slick ain't nothing at all. Never heard of this guy's nothing. And he's just one of uh, yeah, yo shirt holders. Anyway, now uh, somebody did actually respond to Rizzo Rizzo saying that, uh, and they pretty much said to Rizzo Rizzo, Max don't like six foot, three hundred pounds. Rizzo a part of something great, and least uh, had a song on the radio. In which Rizzo responded, said, "I got a song on the radio now. What the." Good. None of Hood Fame been on a radio. Brokey. And of course, when you read that Brokey, you got to read it inside of the voice of, uh, what's it called? You got to read it inside of the voice of, voice of Lotto because that's kind of how he did it. Also, it looks like the next comment says, TSF got all these boys in their feelings. Rizzo cut like a piece of rock and will break this man lyrically or with hands. Now, I will tell y'all, Rizzo Rizzo definitely have been inside the gym. Not only inside the gym working out and stuff like that, he actually been in there like doing boxing lessons and all type of stuff. Really, the whole TSF really been taking boxing lessons uh rizzo rizzo uh maxo i mean not maxo rizzo rizzo sauce walker sauce wood winning you know what i'm talking about been in the cut actually sauce wood winning had a boxing match with sean cotton and then y'all saw what he did there the boxing match too so they everybody in tears that pretty much been on that boxing tip lately for real anyways now, the next person said, I ain't seen nobody do nothing but post talking down on TSF. No bloody lips, eyes, ears, nobody limping or nothing. Just a lot of yelling and emotion from one side that it low-key weak. If I got smoke, I mean real grease. It's nothing to talk and let's handle it and move on. I'm never picking up the phone to show these type of emotions towards another human, especially a man. This going on for dang near five years and not a slip, uh, not a slip boxer in sight. Ooh-wee, these people talking about what in jail was going on right hey listen legend be real this is all marketing for artists for all y'all that don't understand it don't know how to how the hip-hop world goes on and i don't understand how hip-hop world goes on that's on the outside looking in and not only inside looking out listen man all this stuff that these that these artists are doing are actually really marketing for them uh this is some of the best marketing that you can actually get right this type of marketing labels try to uh uh non-organically get their artists to actually do and get an uh, get an organic response for all that you know what i'm talking about all that stuff with Lil Durk and NBA Youngboy, a lot of that stuff was marketing. Yeah, some stuff really did go down, but of course the labels really did push a whole lot of that stuff too. And what did they do? Increase their sales and increase their stream, stuff like that. So that's, like I said, that's just for the people that's looking outside, looking in and out on the inside, looking out. Anyways, now the next person said, light right now, Rizzo, pull up about that punching. So Rizzo, 
actually did pull up on Max O'Cream whenever they was about to box, and they actually did fight. Whether you think he won, lost, win, draw, whatever it may be, he actually did pull up, right? Nigga went the last one round with Rizzo. Uh, so you got people saying Rizzo would knock him out. You got people saying that, uh, you know, T Slick would do his thing. I'm going to take Rizzo. F it. It's one-sided as hell. Hood fang, y'all not. I'm going to be crap for the. I'm going to be real. For the most part of this, I done heard Rizzo, people saying that Rizzo will win most of the comments so far, right? It's one-sided. Hood fang, y'all not winning this. One stick to beef in your own town. TSF not going to lie. TSF putting Belter. <clears throat> Hood fame asked about them EG boys. Ask Rizzo why I'm blocked and why he ain't got his chain. It's Hood fame T Slick is irrelevant anyway. So, you know, and from that, whenever T Slick actually came out and made that comment, uh, it does look like that uh, Rizzo Rizzo took to his own Instagram and he actually made a video and just letting everybody know listen, man, uh, I'm outside getting my car did. You know, I'm talking about I'm outside, got my edge up on, like his, his song is actually saying on the radio right now. Uh, but hey, man, I, I'm, I'm standing on whatever. And for y'all that don't know, I got get back for my chain already because a lot of people still do try to bring a Rizzo Rizzo chain situation wherever in that studio inside of Arizona where all that stuff had went down uh, and the chain ended up being confiscated. He letting y'all know, hey man, I done already got get back for all that. So y'all can take whatever in the blue hell y'all want to say about me, but I done hunt stood on business about that. And I'm actually letting Rizzo Rizzo explain it to y'all. I have been cars clean, finna go run itself. <laughs> man, I ain't even tagging, bro, because I don't, you're not getting you're not getting a like, a dollar, nothing. You niggas don't stay broke and be You're broke. Key talk niggas media. don't stand on no business. Y'all quick to say something about what I'd have been through. We didn't push down on roads and whatever by mines. Y'all quick to say y'all don't know nothing about what's going on. Man, you can find out. It's the internet. Everything get put on the internet, you can find out what's going on. Niggas is going to jail right now because shit on the internet. If you wanted that pressure about who you was really pressuring with, you would go find it. Stop playing, bro. Y'all, please, y'all leave me alone, bro. Please, bro. I'm working out. I'm trying to do my music. I'm in a whole nother space. Y'all go play with Walkman with this shit. Bro, leave me alone. I'm really ready to crash out about this shit right now, bro. It's... All right. <laughs> Anyway, so Rizzo Rizzo sounded like he ready to stand on business about anything, whatever, whoever got anything to say that he ready to stand on it. You already know. Now, if we look at the comment section on what y'all had to say, the first comment is actually T Slick. He said, like I said, you're the weakest inside of TSF and you got took down, been dead ever since. In which the next person said, Responded to that twin. I'ma send a video. This at busy is a great and a good fight. Chain been took two years, both chains in that weak ring. Laughing out, but starting working out like you save him. TSF down. The next person said, he about to clock in his day job. No lie, Hood Fang got them niggas in the boxing gym. He gonna cry in the car. Rizzo look like he hungry. Ask him what happened to that TSF chain when he landed in Arizona, laugh aloud. Ask why he does always remember TSF like South just don't like his salt. <clears throat> Nobody saying, no BS. They both got the same amount of clout, not gonna lie. Bro got to get a violation. Cornball win, laugh out loud. On some real stuff, that man say don't have time for the kid activities in which uh, somebody responded and said, tell him don't buy a new chain, come get his old ones. Crowd up, up they, they gun on you and you buy yourself, you're going to give it up too. That don't make you less tough. So this guy's actually saying, hey, listen, man, if you are inside of a studio or wherever you at and a whole crowd of people come at you with guns to your face and, and say, hey, give me that chain, then that's what you're going to do. It ain't too many tough people, even no matter how tough he is, going to have a chain around their neck, you know what I'm talking about, and have a gun to their head or maybe multiple guns to their head, and they saying, give me the chain, and you ain't giving me that chain. You know what I'm talking about? Because at the end of the day, a chain ain't worth your life. I know you be hearing rappers say stuff like, hey, man, uh, uh, I die about this chain or this, man, listen, put these rappers chain rappers in them type of predicament situation to where they got guns to their head or whatever they may have to their head and, 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 and they feel like they about to lose their life, man, them chains going to go, bro. Who going to really die over a chain? It ain't really worth it. You know what I'm talking about? But anyways, and also, of course, we do know anybody can get took down at any time, right? A lot of a lot of artists really didn't got took down. It really be about what your response to that, like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, what you going to do uh, after you done actually got took down? You know what I'm talking about? Now, 
what I do want to play a video for y'all is Sauce Walker's uh, cousin, who's actually his artist, Sauce Gohan, who I unlocked him as a character as the baby goat. He actually has something to say to T Hood Fame T Slick as well, because T Slick took a, showed a video of Sauce Gohan pretty much when his eye, uh, I don't want to say was rolled to the back of his head, but one eye looked a little different because, like I said, he got shot inside of the head. Uh, and T Slick pretty much came out and said, Bro got caught in an eye. Tell me he don't look like Fetty Wap. You already know. Now, from that, we haven't heard too much of the baby goat actually coming out and talking other than when he did actually get shot, he did come out and talk. But now he does got something to say and respond to hood fame T Slick. This is what he had to say. This is what I'm saying, though, man. I don't get no it look like Fetty Wap, whatever. I got more money than you, more cars than you, You're my house, homes, my nigga. I got more than you would ever have or think of in life. And then on top of that, I done stood on way more money than you done ever thought of in your mother in history of born with you. So don't even come with me on nothing I got going on on, my, on Vice Lord. That's the reason why I look like Fetty Walk. Cause I'm really out here in his business. Anyways, now we got to keep it real, right? I'm finished playing what he's saying, but hey, man, listen. Most of the time, whenever somebody is getting shot at inside the streets or anything like that as well, that means that, that something done been done. You know, talking about, oh, it's the reason why they really try to to take him down and try to not just take him down, really try to kill him and end his life. Uh, but like I said, he was able to, to survive that incident that they actually happened, and that's what Sauce Gohan is actually saying. Listen, man, the reason why you're able to make fun of my eye like that and my eyes actually like, you know, talking about look like it messed like a fatty watt right now is because I was standing on business in the streets and somebody double back and came to try to go stand on their business and tried to kill me. So that's why I'm standing on it. And then he also said Vice Lord because people may not know, but if you even if you listen to Sauce Gohan's voice, you can tell that he's actually from Chirac. He's a he's an actual Chirac. Uh, uh, that's where he was born and that's where he was pretty much raised. And of course, I I, I think he moved to Houston now. Uh, but but anyways, he is originally from uh, Chicago. I'm really out here standing on something out real life anyway so now with all that being said you already know is one other thing that i gotta do before i let y'all go from this video <laughs> y'all probably guessed it by now we gotta check out the comment section anyway so the first comment is of course hood fame t slow t slick he said on vice lord i'll knock that fake eye out Houston is a city, Fort Worth is a town. Dallas is a city. If you look around the world, all the black folk that's in fast-paced cities got money. That's why it's so many lanes online, not because they from an all-black town and from a real hood. Because like them went to, went, to, went to school with the whites and Mexican people. But since they black, they consider a hood in the suburb. Uh, what in the blue hell is this person talking about? I'm not sure. Uh, the next comment say, Fort Worth look more and more cat every time I open Instagram. Media screens hitting the day. Laugh out loud. Yeah, yo, come home and shake up Texas like Cat Williams. Bro, this so lame. They all acting like females going back and forth on Instagram. This not P at all, and this not what we're doing. To let here go somebody else saying something like that. Listen, bro. Bottom line is, this kind of stuff happened. People are going to watch. This is marketing. If you look at it from a business aspect, y'all may not be looking at it from a business aspect. From a business aspect, this is all marketing and branding. And from a, I mean, from a marketing standpoint, uh, it's actually something that, that's beneficial as far as career-wise when you look at it from a marketing standpoint. But let me get out of the marketing standpoint and go back into the character. Anyway, should be mad funny. I ain't got to explain to it. And then it says, Slick Mike got the best hands in 4E. He from the east side. And it wish somebody no right responder. Uh, he will be next to drop. Who will be next to drop a video? Then said Fetty Wap that will set him off. Say man, y'all ain't gonna pull up. That man go hunt into that it now. Nah, that got too solid and out the way for this. This hood fame versus tears stuff stuff gotta stop. It was funny in 2020. Now it's time to move on. And there's a laughing emoji, so that means what? It's still funny, right? Almighty. And then the next person say, uh, hood fame T slick. You can't even rap for real. I know you ain't talking, bro. Lost me advice, Lord. So somebody said that that Sauce Gohan lost him a vice lord, but for Sauce Gohan responded, it was like, how? I'm really a vice lord, like, in real life. How? Because I'm from the real set. And he actually really is from a set. Like, he's actual vice lord, right? Anyways, now the next person came out and said, I ain't going to lie. Foe, he got no motion and be yapping on the internet. Gohan going to put this in a face they done effed up. Anyway, so hey man, listen man, the commotion inside of Texas is still heating up. Uh, you know, I'm talking about some of the older characters are popping back out, and of course, 
I will keep y'all tuned in on everything that goes on. Anyways, let me know something. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire ordeal. I'm out.